Owale ama kwala kweli nta babo Owale ama kwala kweli nta umwae bo umwae bo na se ufinde tinde tele to take you through some very basic lessons and hope that they are not longer than 10 minutes each or so but later on I'd like to do some more advanced Zulu especially the grammar to understand the key to understanding Zulu now if you unfortunately know Fanagalo type of pigeon, pigeon or kitchen Zulu forget it as much as you can it will not help you to speak proper Zulu and it is even offensive to Zulus to use Fanagalo. So to kick off for today, let's look at Zulu vowels. In English, of course, A, E, I, O, U. In Zulu, it's A, E, E, O, U. So taking the A or the A, the R is, you could use an English word to describe it, rather, R. A good example in Zulu would be, Abantu Baya Jabula, which means people rejoice. And you notice the various, A, various A's there, Abantu Baya Jabula. And then E, as in land, is E. So it's A, E becomes A, E in Zulu. An example would be Bebe Jabula. They were happy. Bebe Jabula. So you notice the E. The next vowel would be the I. In Zulu it is E. Almost like the E in English. An example would be in English, me, and there the sound is virtually the same. The Zulu expression would be inja, iabiza, poor vocabulary, but just for want of trying to explain the vowel sounds, inja, I-N-J-A, it is the I. So we've got the A-E-I or the R-A-E. And now to the O, which in Zulu is O. To try and capture as an English word that sounds the same, how about O as in A-W-E? We stand in O. And that is virtually the Zulu sound. An example would be O Nesi, O, which means nurses, O Nesi. Then um, another example, as we go further on, the last vowel would be U, which is U. Closest in English would be the expression U, O-O-H, exclamation. Not completely the same, but almost. And this is one of the reasons why English people struggle to speak Zulu. Zulu people are good in English, but they struggle to get the phonetics right. Uh, but we'll leave that for another day. An example then for the last vowel, U, would be Uzo Jabula. He or she will be glad. Now for the end of every YouTube video, I'd like to just use one expression. A Zulu expression which is colorful because Zulu is a marvelous, beautiful, <coughs> colorful language. Full of such expressions, far more expressive than English. So for today, I'm going to look at one which is Aihashi Matota, which is, it's not horse meat, men. That's literally what it is. But this is how it came about. The Zulus are very closely knit and community orientated. And so from olden days, if a person would walk by a home and smell meat being barbecued or bried, we even see a group of men sitting outside around some pots and they're cutting up meat. The man could simply say, Ayahashi Matota, and that would give him the right to join in, even though he's a total stranger. What he's saying is, it's not horse meat, it's not donkey meat or dog meat, because they eat none of those. This is proper meat. 
and therefore I have the right and it is a wonderful expression I hashi my daughter so goodbye for now and we hope to see you next time salani gahle goodbye <laughs> Se o filho